Hi, I'm Jack and I'm here to share my story on my spinal CSF leak. Before my spinal CSF leak, I was in eighth grade and I was going to school every day and playing soccer. I was 14 years old when I first got my spinal CSF symptoms. I was playing basketball and then all of a sudden I had a headache and so I went inside and I took a nap and then woke up and it was still there but it was even worse. Before this I had headaches and migraines and this felt way different. It had gotten so bad that I, I couldn't even walk so then they took me to the hospital that night. The doctors just told me that it was a migraine and they gave me fluids and then sent me home that night. It took about two and a half months for the doctors to figure out that I had a spinal CSF leak and then about a day or two later they performed an epidural blood patch on me to fix the leak. It was all gone, all my symptoms were gone the next day. I don't even know how to explain it. It just, it, I, it didn't even feel real. The most frustrating part about living with this spinal CSF leak was not knowing what was wrong with me. I wish doctors knew more about spinal CSF leaks so patients could have a quicker diagnosis. I feel back to normal, I'm back at school every day, I'm playing soccer again, and I'm almost done with high school. I would say that people who are dealing with spinal CSF leak to advocate for themselves and to remain patient throughout the whole process.